Sharif, you can hold this whilst doing the commentary. All right. Um, yes. All right. All right. Um, as you all know, um, after December 4th presidential election, uh, the United Democratic Party saw their dissatisfaction how the election process was done. And, uh, they said uh, yeah, after that they were able to uh, file a petition uh, recently to show that this election process was not, uh, was not okay with them. Uh, it wasn't okay with them in a the sense that the president uses cook, uh, now cooking utensils and also the mini machines and also give away some money to the Ankalobo and the uh, Village development committees and also and also the president and his uh, people also use hate speeches. Uh, hate speeches also were uh, used. Um, the, uh, there are two meetings that are um, that are contained uh, in that uh, petition. We cannot complete everything, but as you can see right now, uh, people are in a haste uh, to go and with the case. Uh, but still now you can stay tuned. Uh, yes, but still now you can stay tuned. Uh, you are watching the government. ignore_time_segment_in_scoring petition ci hay code bi pour wonne election bi process bi num deme election bi num deme demo correctly demo correctly ndaté president bu gagné ay 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 structure ci ko défé rek monsieur mbodja ngi ni ñu bayla rek nga dem wax ak mom assalamu alaykum wa alaykum assalam quickly yes a quick one assalamu alaykum wa alaykum assalam his role at the UDP So uh, what is it about uh, today? basically nada men na waram kana na case ni present for men so actually more command wala for men so today so contrapass drop so um you don't know um Yes, we have to be here. 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 We have to wa NPP ñomit ñu ngi leen fi gis jamono ji ko wa NPP ñu ngi leen fi gis jamono ji su ko defé rek ñu dem sét na dinañ mëna wax ak gaay kay sheriff mu nga ñew ko mu nga ñew jamono ji comme non lañ ko gisé rek yombut nak mëna ko yombut mëna ko yombut su ko defé rek ñu dem sét na dinañ gis ñené ni fi wax ak gay loya npp bi ñu ngi wax waxon na rebul may mëna mo ngi ni su ko defé rek nga wax ak mom sheriff mëna ko nga wax ak mom mom npp la representant hold on genel max bi ñu mën la dega bu baax nga hol caméra bi fi
Look at my camera. I thank you. Um, why are you here? Yeah, you know, the N uh, NPP and the president are almost one and the same. So he's obviously the party leader and secretary general of the National People's Party. So I have no choice but to come and witness what is being done and what is being said. We are watching closely. We are an interested party in this. Um, so um, do you have any hope that uh, this case will win the people? No, no, no. This is not a question of winning the case. It's a question of killing the case. Because a dead case cannot survive much more to win it. You win a case or you win a, 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 a game. This is no, a non-starter. They, they don't have power to bring the president to court. In fact, the constitution is against that. That's why there is an objection to that. So, what do you want to do with the courthouse? What do you want to do with the courthouse? Yes, what do you want to do with the preparation of the case? What do you want to do with the case? Lawyer President B, Sheriff Tambidi, mom defa file objection. Ne case B court be mulu court def. No me constitutional objection. So, South men guy, South men IEC, IEC commit amnen right to respond. Mom commit UDP amnen. Minister Bang. We need to respond and continue our discussion. Yeah, that case will let them forward, but I'll so be able to. So, so right now, four minutes. Yeah, right now, four minutes. So, can you not deal with the court? Yeah, you know what I deal with the court be on Tuesday. On Tuesday. On Monday conference. Mm -hmm. But we did not talk. We sort out Kate. Mm -hmm. uh, I see New England staff Kate. Uh, uh, UDP Tamit. New England Mara staff. Staff New England be pare. But then we are turn to. So, Kate, you know turn to. Nous avons les gens qui nous distribuent pour nous mettre sur les amnés sur le KT à la Tuesday. Nous avons eu le status conference. Alors, nous avons eu le plus général pour le public. Oui, maintenant, nous avons eu le plus de Gambia, c'est une fulfillée de démocratie. Parce que c'est seulement dans Gambia que vous pouvez avoir une situation comme ça, où vous pouvez voir le président en passant. Et vous vous voyez avec ça, comme si rien n'était passé. No, nobody dares to do this in the past 22 years. We have seen the Jame winning elections, alleging that it has been rigged, or, but they never sue him in person. This is the first time. So this is a, it's a development in our juris, uh, jurisprudence and in our democracy as well. All right, lawyer Mboj, Jamano Ji, I have a question for you. How do you think about this lawyer who is the UDP? How do you think about this lawyer who is the UDP? How do you think about this lawyer? First of all, Bori, although a member of the UDP, I have the right to talk about the UDP. I am a lawyer for the NPP, I have the right to talk about the small party. But right now, uh, NPP is not yet a party in this case. It's most likely, the objection will be no here next week, to Nango for New Guinea to the president. Obviously, it's the National People's Party. No, we know completely, yep, it's not against the president. It's against uh, the National People's Party, because my party leader, my secretary general, my candidate for the NPP. Mm -hmm. So that's why Mantami Manyo Case. Mm -hmm. uh, so, from the case, what is the case? 
Yeah, it speaks volumes. It speaks volumes because uh, I'm a Luabi. First of all, is a test of the jurisprudence of our country. Case first one case be Musuta. This is the first time in the history of the Gambia. So, so court in the fair decision on it. It becomes a precedence, and precedence will the fair in Gambia, the fair in Yenen Deke in Neka around. Because anytime you have a case like this, Munga use the decision of this court as a precedence in that case. Just like Amnen cases, you may need in other jurisdictions like Kenya, in Malawi, in uh, South Africa. So it becomes part of the legal history of the Gambia. No more injury. Tell me, but in the end, the why work on you? I'm not going to break down on you. UDP, Lenin, Lenin, Wahman, I'm Lenin, Lenin, Suya. Yeah, um, I know petition be already Kasare and then social media when you bury But why won't you break down because I'm not you bury your hand understand that yeah. your lawyer, professional lawyer, <laughs> I didn't book a break down because you could have been Yeah, uh, first of all, uh, Lunio challenge against the election act, Moy, the NPP, man NPP, like what? Because Ken Gisut President Adama Baro, Wacha Joh Nid Sujer, Wala Joh Nid Machine, Wala Joh Nid Halis. Send petition to Yep, Wahun Sidur. So obviously, the family, agents, members of the NPP, so NPP party, Lul Mota, Manyo, Tahawal party, we have Lul Hell. But Nyam send petition be apart from the, they call it corrupt practices. Yeah, it depends on the definition. I'm a legal term, a legal word. I'm not going to define in a way that will suit your purpose. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to define it more. Each uh, uh, campaign be sugeri, degala, tsare nen sugeri, degala, johe nen mili machines. But it's not only the NPP. The reason why Esa pulled out is because he's he's convinced that he has also given cooking pots and machines to uh, the voters to solicit their vote. And the evidence we have as of now, UDP Lundef, the campaign. The photos are there. The party leader is there in the middle of it. The, there are other party militants are there. So Lulu can go in. It's not NPP only who give out machines or who give out uh, 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 cooking pots to electorates. Cash, mom, yeah. You know, politics cannot be done without money. They are saying that it's not a level playing field, which means uh, NPP, Newland Opa, Nyomsen Bopa. What it means is that NPP is stronger in terms of the campaign period. Because what they are saying is the field was not level. Uh, we are doing what they cannot do. The case is just like a complaint to the court about the electoral process, not the election results. This is not a challenge against the results of the election. This is a challenge against the process of the election. That's during the campaign period. But, I mean, we have seen the evidence. The evidence is there. Don't worry, it will come out. You will all see it when the time comes. So, um, right now, Nyunglen is a NPP. But if I'm going to say NPP, Nyunglen is a UDP, Sibir, Lingaham, Nyunglen, Kod. Yes, that is correct. Uh, that's a right observation. Even in the legal side, in the court, uh, although IEC is represented by two lawyers, why lawyers Nyunglen, 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 President, right now, is the president is the name of the president? Nolan Opa, I don't know, twice or three times, because we have all, almost a dozen lawyers on behalf of the president, and we have seen three of them. But who knows? Maybe others are there. They will come and join them when they see that the mighty NPP is here with all his their lawyers. So suddenly we will, we may see more lawyers from the UDP, but even the general public. The, 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 the people who come out today to support the party, I've seen almost all the executive members here. Almost all the executive. And that's a good sign of solidarity and support and uniqueness and oneness in the NPP. That's all we are advocating for. One Gambia, one people, one nation. Mm -hmm. um, as a very experienced legal practitioner, have you ever seen a 
in cases like this wherein uh, uh, the president was won uh, against the party. Yeah, um, it's not a, you know, like I said, lead the family is not a challenge against the election results because uh, petition Supreme Court the forward contain the election results the petition itself so that shows the incompetence of their their petition why not only that um, they did not indicate the results of the election and they are saying is Adam Barrow who won the election he was the one who was duly declared as the winner of the last presidential election. And that is their reason why they are suing him in his own name. But they have to remember also that he is not only an individual, he's a party leader and he's a president. So you do not give the example, the court, the journal order, could you join attorney general in this case? I forgot to say that. And the reason why the court said that there should be the attorney general should be joined in this case is because it affects the interests of the state. The state is the president. The president is Adam Barrow. So all these are tied together. You cannot separate them. Even as of now, they cannot separate Adam Barrow from the MPP. So he's the party leader, the secretary general. So wherever he stands, it's like the party that is uh, being sued, but in a wrong capacity. In a wrong capacity. So. The court has always two choices. Either they strike out the case or they allow them to amend it. Amend is correct their processes. Join the right people. We have seen they join the IEC. We have seen the court has joined the Attorney General. Maybe the MPP will also come and join them when HE's name is out of the case. Um, how do you win the future democratization process for the uh, country to be able to give the party to take the president to the court? Yeah, um, this is a second test. The first test we have crossed in the Yakuba case in the Supreme Court. But in that case, it was against the office of the president. That was what the world should in the court. So that's why the Attorney General was there. That makes it compulsory. All right. But in this case, they are suing the president in person, in his own name, individual. The president did not contest the election as an individual. We all know that. They know that. The president contested the election as the sitting president of the Gambia. He's still the president of the Republic of the Gambia. And secondly, he's also the party leader and secretary general of the National People's Party. So those two offices have to be filled. In this case, I'm a court numel, I must tell you, is that anybody who will be affected by the result of the case should be joined as a party in this case. So, Ms. Lotte, join the Attorney General. Make it just NPP. Si nu gata lundega fani reka bunyo waha kena si nyinga hamne nyinga nyinga usi court bi mine court before them on break. Why lan mota case bi nyu def ko right now? Yeah, um... It's going to be because the uh, constitution is more collateral. So file a petition, whether the court is on break or not, or on session. When you hear a petition within 30 days, that is one month. And I'm so you will all know the reason. Closely tied to the uh, swearing in of the president. Because normally the swearing in is within. Uh, one month after the after the election, so the court also is mandated to hear the case within one month, so that Bala swearing in Bijot, they have disposed of the case. Okay. So the family can case be what a story no? No, 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 no. Lee, what is the story? Lee, can... <laughs> uh, we are expecting the name of the president to be struck out. Why so fierce? Because the young, young feel like we are under pressure. Is that because of the hope you have? No, it's not only hope, it's confidence. The confidence I have in this case that this suit is incompetent. I wish that Mansma Boba I was addressing the court. You know, uh, Sarif Mom is my senior. Uh, he also is led by a senior. So I cannot go into that. But if I was the one defending the case, 
we may start arguments today. Arguments on the legality and the competence of this case. You know, even the general public, everybody is talking about it. You cannot sue the president. He has constitutional immunity. Can no uh, lawyer bu uh, UDP be Hamoud Ligayam? Well, no, not Hamoud Ligayam. I'm gonna be the facel. Everybody, we know that. You know, Lua be the facel. You can you know Lua be the facel more. You can never know which way it is until court be decided. So this is why I said it's a test for our jurisprudence and our democracy. Because this is the first time that the court will pronounce on the legality of suing the sitting president uh, in person mm -hmm. instead of office of the president. Because if my man am a professional, I'm a private lawyer. Why? It's election period. Man, I'm not this observation. Business has slowed down. The reason because of the tension and the campaign, they affect almost every activity. And that has slowed down the functions of the economy. That makes life difficult for Gambians. And then, like you said, by now, we should have put this in the past. Then a legacy new phase national development. But it is a setback, really, because Bala case with DJ Hat is another month. And it's a, a, a moment of political uncertainty. And that is not a conducive environment for economic development. Because investors here, they know how to after case. During campaign, everybody was saying, they know how to after election. The election is not the court. So, if you have the court, you can't do it. Why do you think that National People's Party is a good thing? Because the people who are saying that the election is not the election. The election is not the election. No, I'm a campaign. So you say IEC job candidate Buneka, then job time. Campaign time and stopping time. That is equality. So the campaign period, Buneka denga uti voters, convince them, defend them, promise them. Buneka just to enable you to win the election and the electorate. Now, if in the process uh, they are alleging that we use money, we use uh, cooking pots, we use uh, milling machines, these are needs of the Gambians. Gambians, this is just to show that Gambian democracy has developed to a stage that the people now know what is right, what is good, and what is bad for them. It's not only NPP. You know in Opale, why you send Bopa, Johan, and Sugiri, you bury Agmala, you bury football, Jassi, you bury. They did so many things. Oh, everything that they are complaining against the NPP, you send Bopa, definitely. No, I'm watch, but you know, two, two wrongs cannot make a right. Yeah, but in equity, in law, uh, the first in time, the one that breaks the rule first, cannot complain because you did something which you yourself are now alleging that is wrong and then you are coming around to say no you what you did is more than what i did case we no lament you know what more npp use the propaganda the campaign more open yums and boss you know little more abuse more corruption corruption but now corruption you have the corruption I think it's evidence be we complain. The reason why Lutan you know court the challenge results more than Nyaka. And you said something that about the surprising uh, results. Yeah. Hanga, social media now is so powerful that Munga Neka finger you message. 
in the next five minutes is all over the Gambia through the social media. So this is the advantage that we are aware. We use social media very well to our advantage and enlighten the Gambian people and encourage them and show them and promise them and do what we can do for them. Do the same thing. No, I'm going to look at it. It's a non-starter. The reason why I said it's a non-starter, my young son, Boba, since the time of the registration, they have party agents all over the registration center. Every registration center in this country, UDP was there. The agents were there. And I guess when you don't register uh, looking foreigners, you Okay, after the registration, you compile list, you publish one. You know, I'm complaining against X, Y, and Z that he is not qualified to vote. You got them revising court. You set up revising court for two months. Court say I talk legally. Two months, the courts we are sitting as revising courts. There was no petition. There was no complaint. New Def campaign, Mujhe, New Greenland, Legi, you know, did it. You register foreigners. And they, where were they when those foreigners were registered? No phone. But that's all I can say about that. Why can you escape to Tantia Gas in Sani Morena? No, I'm uh, that's the duty of the police. The function of the police is to maintain peace and stability in this country. Country without security is doomed. Security is a priority in this country. Why is Kenneth security being get a flow? No, 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 no. We need security in the country, we need peace, we need order, we need stability. The country cannot go without peace and security. Uh, anyway, this is a petition. petition. Maybe it will be another case. If they want, if they lose this case, they still are not tired. They are energetic. They have the energy to go to court, complaining about a process, not a result. Petition Bunham Nun is you file a petition against results and not the process, not the procedure. Procedure when you never got them, and I didn't know an upper dollar. Right? That's the only thing I can say. That's uh, what they are complaining. Mr. Mood, uh, you made mention of the president has you know a constitutional immunity. Are there any exceptions to that regarding this case? No, I'm not exceptions. There's a distinction between the civil and criminal. Okay. Civilly, you cannot sue him. More civil action, more civil action. All right. Although. I'm not some criminal element. There is some criminal element because the election petition, the elections act, has uh, created a, a, an a offense creating section that any person who is found liable go guilty of this offense will render the election results invalid. So that's a criminal allegation. It's not only civil, but President B, I'm not immunity, civil immunity. You cannot sue him in person. Even in his private capacity, it's expressly provided under the Constitution. So I don't know why they decided to bring a case against him. Because whatever he did, he did it as a sitting president of the Gambia. He's still the president. Well, well, according to the tradition, they also bring some sections that they rely on. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not sections. That's what I was saying. They... Are those sections not valid? Oh, against themselves. Lee is against this petition. There, there may be. A counter petition, maybe, but uh, the only thing is, for now, uh, there is no petition because if you challenge the validity of the of the petition and it succeeds, the case court will strike it out. And if that happens, that's the end of it. No, 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 no. Court be Chief Justice be one of the court be. Mune, the Munge Nyan Yep lawyers, as judges, put me death case within one month. So you pass a one month. I'm definite, I'm sure of that. Go Lola Luabiwa, the Sun CJ Luluabiwa, Red Law Lider. No, I'm a case bunaka. Munga court judge. See appearance at Dimino. 
appearance more the number of people who are coming out today this will be anyway munam some supporters in on cbt i see cordy uh npp side more than that uh cbt tamit numagis nubari wa npp so which is an indication that we are more confident that we will win this case than the ndp digen am confident nga xam ngeen yeena team bu rew mi ndax tamit di seddu nañ ne ci yeneen rew yi sa bo baye xel gep ko xamantene ya tok ci mbour gi yow yaay faral di ekiti sa loxo nan yow ya nek ci kaw kon ragalu leen parce que xam ngeen ne yeena nek ci mbour gi dara munu leen fepp lolu is obvious that's an obvious one lolu moy the advantage of an incumbent incumbent moy sitting president ku tok dole bum am mun nga dajal opposition yep te lolu it has reflected in the results the npp alone is able to pull up 53% of the votes all the opposition NPP with the aprc with the aprc yes yeah, together and then when i say npp obviously with all the allies we we are able to pull out 53% with all the opposition orders udp and others together they had only 47% of the voters so that is an indication and an advantage an incumbent and a sitting president pour gagner ko carte tala job de journaliste artist and how do you compare all right the past regime and uh, the current regime when it comes to being very comfortable going with the cases <laughs> because uh, we've had you at the TRRC uh, when we are testifying you say a lot about the difficulties you encounter and today you are here standing <laughs> talking can you try to compare these two um, this two yeah, moments I, um, I, to the public I, I, I really you are pushing me to the limit you know because um, even the journalists it's not only me it's not only the lawyers even the journalists today the freedom that you enjoy i read it in the papers freedom of expression freedom of uh, the the this last echo summit have made an express statement about the development of the freedom not only freedom of the press but generally fundamental rights len observe lol len respect ci dikam before you and i will not stand here i is not only me you and me will not stand here to comment about a case affecting the former president ya yeah, jam yeah. after the case everybody is running to the so uh, in fact people are scared to come to court that was the, the order of the day you will not be here i will not be here even if we are here when we finish the case you don't have time for interview because you are looking around your soldiers whether there is any nia around you before you will pick up anywhere at any time that was the order of the day but now you are free udp are coming to court to sue the president yakumba jaiti an individual have sued the president in the gambia and who knows who is next that's an maximum enjoyment of democracy and freedom we have in the country is that freedom going to last long est ce que wéti pour am tamit ci bi i don't uh, maybe uh, the president will uh, one day just wake up and say that hey am a wara jël ak sunu jamm no 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 am na ñu ku nek am na ñu yalla ñu la bindé we have all seen the patience the virtue the patience of the president li mota we were able to convince the people it's not about the money it's about not about the cooking pots it's not about uh, the machines it's the humanity the human nature of the president he is very marketable why because he has very good qualities he is very patient he is very tolerant he is very decent he is very respectful and the advantages he have you cannot compare it to any other opposition candidate a president who can speak five languages in your country i think you know that you can speak english you can speak wolof you can speak manika you can speak fula you can speak sarakule which president in the gambia or which candidate can do that in the gambia it's only adam abar so that makes him marketable and very easy to convince people to vote for him ngina ngay wax ku kin pat ku kin pat muy sujere way sujere way est ce que udp ta muñ ko jël mu nek sen evidence la gisone nañ xen rek di wax dafi du tout pat ko nek ku ne da ngay jël sujere way toga ci dafin waaw lolu bañ mako because am na campaign bi lum mel i will tell you the reason for that it's not only for the benefit of the npp but for the people on the ground ko fuñu dem am nga gis nga bolo mu de top president do muna eno ci def fi nga yobu ko bara wala nga yobu ci def di dem raw gambia di dem tok wuta ci def you know it's very hard and very difficult 
So how many are them bara for meeting? And you know you are expecting eighty thousand people. You make a budget for it, and you cook for them in bara. So them for like budget Of course, you are that from the mighty NPP. That's what you want to know. We are the mighty NPP. We have the power. We have the money. We have the Chinese We show them in this election. That's why they are complaining. That's why they are here. They say. Don't don't talk. Amulian won't hide. Don't 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 hide. He said the other barrow has uh, uh, some Sarahule sponsored him and gave him 15 million to go and bribe the judges. Uh, in for this for country? This, for, for this case? Well, 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 for this case. It's in the social media. I have the video. If we had 15 million dollars, we would have given the, them before, in the previous case, against the president. That's the Yakuma case. Why well, we allow democracy to flow? Barrow does not interfere with the judiciary. He relies heavily on the independence of the judiciary. He has said that. And that's why he allowed them to use their own force to finance themselves. So that's the best independence of the judiciary you can have in the country. Thank you. All right, lawyer Mooch, your final message to the Gambians. Yeah, I'm, I have always been saying this, and I'm proud that they came to court. I'm proud that they came to court. Why? Because it's a show of maturity and a maturity and a democracy because rather than going to the streets they prefer coming to court so let us all be law abiding following whatever the court decides is the final decision let's all respect it and go ahead uh, <laughs> Sheriff Kex Mungfi Kex Sane 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 Video AS Nyo Nega Tugera Kex Zinen Buga Wattana Yo Paski Nyo Lagi Si Bir Linga Hamne Mungfi Kex Sane Kex Sane Loi Defi Kex Nyo Nyo Live no, you say Linga Hamne Monica case. Well, actually, it is good for democracy in respect of uh, can more win or can more lose at the end of the day. Uh, it will just mean for democracy, like Linga Hamne, like democracy in the country. Uh, the government has no other democracy, like we should be ready for all the features that inquire democracy. Uh, everybody has a right to get an election happens. And you are dissatisfied with the election, you have the right to have many uh, section for the men of the country to give you the power. I put my proper petition and I think that you will be a low line definitely. So let's just wait and see. So let me take a new fee because noise bangy by the senior set of face ring. All right, kex nga ligi ya doi, nyu gis ne doi accept ne result si si sasi. Lo lan la mo wane, pas kini bari den respect doi si you know discipline bun am. Uh, definitely, I knew I'm, I'm, I'm in press conference and you heard from the Secretary General of the party, Ahani Pasalada. I knew I'm a pulling agency, you have to discriminate all the areas. I knew I'm in the regards to the election, they are satisfied. I'm looking at what they are satisfied with the results that is announced. So they have no evidence before the court, uh, the law have been in prison before the court uh, to disagree with the uh, decision of the, uh, uh, the IEC or uh, the announcement of the IEC. So the law uh, they has accepted it. Uh, unless we have uh, an evidence, but we don't have any evidence. So, a little more we will come to the court. We accepted it uh, with good faith in order to get many people to spoke. Now, what Gambia is going to do is set up pertaining to this case. Langa si Gambia. Well, no, like the Gambia is going to have this is democracy. It is a new order democracy. Like, and then we are accept all the features of democracy. Uh, UDP has all right. Uh, for we need to see court. It is important for Gambia by new exercise their constitutional right. Uh, we need to see court. They are. Uh, 
put all the uh, new secret address in regards to uh, the issue of Mohammed in Finland. They are, uh, they are not satisfied with the results uh, from the law of the Mole and Maibole, and they are acting according to the law. Uh, the Gambian Kuneka, the Gengawara, makes sure that the rule of law will build in every circumstance. Uh, from there, they are acting in accordance with the law, uh, to challenge the decision of the court, the uh, decision of the IEC or the election results. Uh, the Nenland Bayer is neutralized, but that doesn't mean uh, whether they are right or they are wrong. So, from there, the Nenland Bayer is neutralized that at the Fungan Eta Media and UTCP, both the IEC and uh, NPP party in Yomkami uh, Union, they are satisfied with the results and will announce the law. So, let's wait what will be the uh, verdict of the court. Like, Alu Amere Nyohamnerek, the Fayoka Sun Democracy, Shubeke, NPP, no win, like, then you want any time for Hamna, then I want to issue a petition before a court, and then I want to do your homework, and have all the facts before you. So, take it, I mean, UDP, no win, I mean, it will show you that then, any person for Hamna, even you are incumbent, uh, you cannot uh, cheat our election or you cannot do anything, no Hamna, it is in violation of the election act. So, it's all uh, the outcome will be good for our democracy at the dinner as cement uh, more of uh, these issues in going into the future. Come, we are calling for democracy, and uh, we should all accept uh, the features of democracy. So, for me, I'm satisfied with whatever come. I just came here as a spectator, as a citizen concerned about the whole case, and I'm interested to know what will be the outcome of the case. And this is why I'm here, not in the capacity of any political party, but as a concerned citizen. I am here at the court. Yeah, kicks new gift me uh so you say court the day at the woman you are uh NPP new gina body than wa uh UDP. Uh lean not do you in the problem because since you gisun wa UDP new body and you do but in a guy hit not in just no uh ku in fit na ku in naka sudik known. Fogal on the NPP then we're on a talk few people new new re come nakalako UDP defect. Well, I'm a court where it's a national bank about it, and everybody has the right to hear the case. Uh, so it depends on uh, how interest they have in the case. Uh, if they have that much interest, and I see them and you know, uh, outnumber the other political party, that shows that how much interest do they have in the case. Uh, but there is no restriction, uh, well, there is no law that says that nobody should come to the court to attend the hearings of a particular case that your party or your institution has been affected. So if they form a delegation and came here, that shows you how interest they are in the court. But that doesn't mean that UDP too doesn't have an interest. Maybe they believe in their legal team, and that's why they allow only the legal team to come and do the job for them. And this is why you don't see most of them there. So for me, it is fine. It just shows that how interested the NPP are in regards to this case and how uh, serious too they have taken uh, this case. This is why you will see a uh, number of people and you know people are there. They are sitting. Kids are in your house. Kids will leave it. So don't want to advise NPP. No want to advise UDP. No want to advise both parties. Well, I want to know that after we move to before airport, the court will never get it again. Uh, so what they will do is best in you know, allow the due process of the law uh, to take the center stage and you know, allow the process since before I'm in support because if again you have Amnan Dole we will not have been here but Amnan and Yomyep they didn't have the power to determine the election so Lunyuedef Monek and Yomport from the UDP has set a petition and uh, Yom they believe uh, they have a case and uh, Yomyep uh, saw the majority the uh, new advice and supporters so this is from any uh, thing law Hamnan Dina is a chaos in this country Yomyep allow the due process of the law because we have a very independent judicial system uh, in this country because so far we have seen cases that are that were against the state and uh, state uh, happens to lose or cases against the opposition the opposition happens to lose so that's also how independent our judicial system is so let's allow uh, you know, uh, the uh, due process of the law uh, to do the right thing uh, law lie advice both parties here that let's allow the due process to take the center stage all right, thank you very right, much. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, depend on every day. Mom, they depend on information. Uh, so, uh, the information. Uh, so, uh, because uh, parties case more need to more in the petition for the new, trying to challenge the validity of the 2021 presidential election results. You know what I um, The election of President Arambaro is invalid. So, from the can guys should then President Arambaro will show up to you know what? I know IEC. Why force from uh, one uh, IEC? You know, can they, they, they are telling me why they are added in the suit. 
the UDP they have a different things to battle out in this case. One is um, the lawyers for the president are saying the president has constitutional immunity under section 69 that he is immune from civil and criminal proceedings by, by virtue of his position as the president of the republic. So I mean like I said, I'm going to go to the next one. Why would UDP add them in the suit? They have objection. They have preliminary objection to so being added in the suit. So, now you have to go to the next one. So, no matter what the court, the lawyer is going to file a motion. Motion on notice dated on the 16th. You have file a motion on notice. So, you know. Uh, Chief Supreme Court, Defa John Lawyer UDP at IEC, two days to reply on that motion whether the suit should be dismissed. So, Tuesday at 10 o'clock, the case will be had. That is the only motion whether they will dismiss the suit or they will continue with it. Because so the Yellow is dealing with the jurisdiction of the case. Can a president be sued? On what basis can a president be given from prosecution, civil or criminal? So, no more issue between that and so on Monday, I meet Chief Justice Defa Oga. I see we have our status conference at his chambers to discuss the case. Because when Defa Oga hear a case, we didn't start the case, we finished it. So Defa Oga lawyers in Yipsa, let them all participate and work together as a unit uh, for the expeditious trial of this suit, so that uh, justice will be determined at the end of the day. So I, I understand uh, the suit, uh, according to the Chief Justice, is, is a, a matter of public interest, and they decide to hear the case within 30 days. So from there, can I, to repeat what I have said in short, is there are three issues in this case today. One is the lawyers for President Adam Barrow want the case to be dismissed because the president cannot be sued, whether criminally or civil, by virtue of his position as the president and by virtue of the constitutional provision under Section 69 that he is immune from the prosecution. So on Tuesday, they are going to argue on that. Another thing is IEC lawyer, lawyer Kewasayan, told the court that they have preliminary objection as to why the name IEC was added. You know, And also the lawyer for President Adam Barrow, the head lawyer, who is Sirif Mari Tambidu, Sirif M. Tambidu, he said um, they have objection as to the motion UDP filed. UDP filed a motion ex parte that um, the, 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 they want ex parte order to add the name of IEC. But Sri Tambedu said, according to the Rule 22 of election petition, that all notice, all petitions, all applications must be on notice. All applications must be on notice. But the UDP application is on ex parte. When you say ex parte, it means it can be had in the absence of the other parties. It does not necessarily require their presence. So these are the three issues. So the Supreme Court will hear the motion on notice on whether to dismiss the case or not. So as you have seen, the case has attracted the court who most feel. The biggest court in the, in, in the, in the Superior Court complex, like courtroom number one, was where the Supreme Court was held. But it was full to capacity. You know, we saw the presence of ministers and all. So it's a case that Chief Justice has emphasized that he wants to try it expeditiously so that justice will be had within 30 days. That is his desire. So on Monday, they will discuss the timeline and see what's best in the case. Thank you very much, uh, Dua. Um, uh, 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 yes, um, uh, for those that are speaking this, it's not the truth because, uh, uh, you know, Gambia, many people cannot say, uh, hear what you're saying. Uh, so if you can do that, please, we know that time is not there. English and Mandinka as well. Uh, so, so what happened today is, um, the case, today is the first hearing of the case, the case United Democratic Party versus Adam Abaro and IEC. It's an election petition case. The United Democratic Party came second in the election. And now they are challenging the, valid, uh, the, the, the validity, the validity of the election of President Adam Barrow. If you all know, if you all recall, 